Okay, so I showed you guys how to do it with toys. Now I'm going to show you how to do it with treats. A lot of people will use a treat in their opposite hand the dog is in. But that's when you start seeing the dog cut across you to compensate for that big open space to get the treat. So you should be treating with the hand on the side your dog is in. So your treat pouch would also be on that side. Or, better yet, on your butt. Left. So I'm gonna have my treats. I'm gonna grab a little handful here. Left. Shh. So my treats are in my hand. I'm going to hold them behind my back in my opposite hand and only have one in my current hand. So she's gonna smell it, she's gonna know it's there. I'm gonna hold it slightly behind me, ask for that heel, left, yes, and then treat and meet her right at her nose. Don't do the crossover where you see she's gonna lean for it. We don't want that, we want it right here. Look, now she's not moving anywhere but right here. So let's see it again. Left. Good left. Left. Yes, good. And you see she does have to stop to chew, but that's where your break would be. So just like the toy, when you give them that chance to play with it, that treat, unless it's a soft one that they can chew and keep going, then you need to have your break there. Good girl. Do not forget to use your release word. You need to have a release word so that they know when they're done healing. So I'll say left, good, yes, okay, free. And that's when she knows we're not healing anymore. I didn't mention that in the other video, but it's something everyone needs to keep in mind is that your dog always needs to know when it's done with the task you've asked. Otherwise, they're just gonna wander off and not pay attention to you anymore. They need to know when they're working and when they're not working. But that's how you do it with treats. Now, like I said, my hand's back here because I don't have a treat pouch right now. <laughs> Get out of there. Uh, but if you had a treat pouch, this hand obviously wouldn't have to be behind your back. Leave it. Um, so, yeah, that's how I do it with treats. I think toys get you better results. So if you can build your toy drive on your dog, that would be ideal. Uh, I would say using a flirt pole, which is uh, basically a horse lunge whip with a toy at the end, and then use that same toy as what you use for your exercises. This is just a puppy bite rag, so it's leather. I've used it for almost a year now and it's still holding together and that's with the Doberman, the Shepherd, and the Cujo Monster going after it. So that's what I would recommend. Something nice and floppy and easy and small that you can carry with you everywhere. All right?